signed by Teddy Hart for a reason, guys. This beautiful girl here is pregnant. And this is one of the things I'm going to be talking about a lot is the beauty of having children. And if you can't have kids, you may have a pet. And if your pet has kids, it's kind of the same thing as having kids for me. And the uh, enormous joy that comes into your life of watching this wonderful little thing bring other uh, amazing animals for me and other people to have uh, as emotional support animals. This, this cat literally takes most of my stress away and saves my life. And I just, I can't thank her enough for being loyal to me. And that's the cat's name is Loyalty. I just wanted to show you guys she got a new collar, a little red collar here. This is a tortoise shell, miniature Persian, hyperallergenic. And she's probably a $2,000 cat if you had to pay for her. And I was blessed by Tate to get a really good deal. I did some matches for him. And he gave me two beautiful miniature Persian tortoiseshell hyperallergenic cats. And these just these guys are these two smartest cats I've ever had in my life personally. Uh, and just they bring so much joy to me. And this has been a tough time for me, guys. Really tough time. And uh, going through different changes in my life and relationship uh, switches and a lot of pressure for me. And Maria obviously is under a lot of pressure. And we're trying to just be friends and get through the situation. And uh and see the positive things that we did do together as a team. And then she has her life and she, all the great things she can do on her own. And she doesn't need to be babysat is the great thing about Maria. Uh, and she has so many things ahead of her that I believe uh, with or without wrestling happening, she's going to be able to do if the coronavirus say goes six months or say goes uh, six years, there's no telling how long it's going to be. And the one thing I'm going to do now is sacrifice my life and my time to my fans. And that's the way, uh, that's the way my dad would have wanted me to do it and my mom would have wanted me to do it and Maria would have wanted me to do it with or without them being a, you know, a part of it. And so when I say my mom and dad is because my mom and dad want me to do more stuff about animals and love and affection and appreciation and the path, the journey and all the great things I've done and the good people I've seen and the good things that I've been able to come, uh, you know, that have come to fruition for me. And to be able to show you guys the birth of a of a life and bringing life into this world and how cool it is for me a lonely wrestler by myself right now on uh, ankle monitor is able to go and uh, videotape this thing with a camera and if you told me 20 years ago there'd be a camera and a phone and i'd be able to videotape this and send this all over the world i'd probably call you crazy but technology is so cool now we take it for granted a little bit but to me still i'm like one of those beginners with computers and and the uh, whole like modern movement, I barely can use a bank machine and I have a hard time doing anything with a phone besides taking a picture. This is my first time actually doing videos by myself. So, but I just wanted to say to you guys, this is Teddy Hart. I love you guys so much. Uh, you guys are my motivation. And during the jail stint that I had, it was a really miserable, terrible time. But you guys got me through that. I just knew I had fans out there that they believed in me and they were watching my channel. They were watching Maria and I, and they were, they were, they were actually there for our for our knowledge and for our experience and for the experience of getting to watch it through our eyes and then have you guys talk to us and us try to actually take what you say seriously and then adapt it and put it into play so when we live our our fairy tale life that we have this dream life that we have we're living it based on some of the things you guys asked us to do and that's the way you contribute and you make it possible and it's real and then it's actually real when you know i'm taking your comments and i'm listening to all the good ones and the positives and I'm actually applying them to my life and I want you to hear about it. I'm talking about it. I'm saying your name on my show. You know, the, I want real fans to call in. I want real fans to be here. I want real fans to come see me. I want real fans to come tell me what they did today and how their meal was. And did they follow my instructions on make your bed in the morning, do 50 push-ups, try to eat this, 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 and this, try to do these things. These are things I know how to do because I did them for 25 years and I'm still scot-free with injuries. I've been super lucky, but super smart about it too. And the proof is in the pudding. Watch the matches on the video and the time is the energy is the money and the time and energy and money I spent on making sure I made guys look great. And I had great matches over and over and over again. Consistency wasn't to be in WWE. It was to be that YouTube is the same platform as WWE and that most of the fans are not in the building watching. They're the fans watching at home. But any fan in the building that's ever watched me, 9 out of 10 of them will say super nice guy and great wrestler and made time for the fans after the show and risked his life for your entertainment because you understand the business is a work and it's a work of working your ass off when you're in the ring and not taking a shortcut. Shortcuts are shortcuts, guys, and they're... Basically, to me, uh, a chicken shit way out of doing the real work. And sometimes you can take a shortcut and it's a good thing. But most times in life, if you take the shortcut, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. Loyalty, 
You want to get a treat? I'm going to give you guys, see how she eats. She's very gentle, but these are her little treats. There you go. Good girl. <laughs> see how gentle she eats? Yeah, she's so smart, this little girl. This is, like I say, guys, this is one of the reasons I'm still alive is because I believe this cat prayed for me and I believe this cat gave me energy in one of its lives to get out because this is one time getting out is hard enough as two times getting out is impossible. Three times is like winning the lottery to get out of jail in Virginia too, especially considering how things go. And I can't talk about much of that stuff. I just want to let you know that I believe God has been with me and my fans are, are obviously magical because certain things in my life have just been unexplainable and good luck after good luck. Sometimes people think it's bad luck for some things, but in order to have that bad luck, happen you have to have good luck after that to get back up so the last two years have been great years for me as a wrestler because I lived in the United States of America and that's where I promised my fans I would stay and try to spend majority of my time because it makes it a lot easier for promoters to book me if I'm in the States and based on that I had almost I think 80 bookings this year uh, this last year and a half maybe 90 uh, and that was an unbelievable thing and an accomplishment for me and something I can say to my parents and my friends and everybody out there that Teddy Hart was consistent and I really took wrestling seriously as a job and I loved it and I had a great time and I was very proud of the character Teddy Hart and the man outside the ring I believed lived up to, lived up to everybody's expectation of what Bret Hart or Owen Hart or Davey Boy or Jim uh, their type of man was outside the ring which was a great person and they were always really good to the fans that's what made the Hart Foundation so cool was a lot of people met Bret and Davey and Owen and Jim and Brian Pillman over the years and I think they were always hospitable and very cool and funny and treated the fans like they were real people instead of that fake kind of feeling when you meet a wrestler and he acts like he's better than you or he's got no time for you. And I, I never wanted to be one of those guys. But again, my thing is to get ready for uh, dinner, guys. I got a nice chili here, some ground beef and some ground veal. And uh, seven or eight kinds of beans in here. It's simmering, so I got to take it down a little bit more so it doesn't burn like last time. Uh, I'm going to shut this video off, guys. God bless you.